Spiritual gurus say, when you are kind, loving and beautiful, you don't need ego. This is true only if you live in a monastery with other ego-free people. But if you are like me and live in a regular city, this concept unfortunately won't work. If you have to go to work, if you have to raise your kids, if you have to pay your bills, then you need ego. If you become a completely kind, loving and generous person, unfortunately, you won't be able to survive in this world. There are good people and there are manipulative and abusive people in this world. There are people who are looking for an opportunity to blame someone else for their own laziness and to put their responsibilities on your shoulders. Of course, you can try to look for a career where everyone is respectful, everyone is doing their job, everyone is helping each other, supporting each other. But we are all human and every one of us can be tired and rude sometimes. The same things apply to other people. Even kind and loving people can get emotionally from time to time. So we need ego to create and maintain our personal boundaries. We have our emotions, our feelings, and sometimes we misunderstand each other. Sometimes we don't get enough sleep and might end up in a bad mood. And that's okay. We all have our ups and downs. In reality, it is not possible to be kind, loving and compassionate 24-7. If you prohibit yourself from negative emotions, then you will allow others to manipulate and abuse you. If you never say no and always forgive others, then pretty soon you will develop a victim mindset. I'm always surprised to find that many people fall into a belief of a nice, kind and loving universe. This is an illusion. I'm not saying that you should be alert and defensive 24-7. I'm just saying that the universe, God, the higher power, the life force did not make a mistake by giving us our ego. Your ego is like a knife. It's neither bad or good. It's about how you use it. You can use a knife to kill a person. Or you can use a knife to prepare a delicious family dinner to enjoy with your loved ones. And now I want to give you a gift. I'd like to send you five free self-development webinars, five free guided meditations and five free healing exercises. Visit elenasemanek.com or click the link below the video. It will mean a lot to me and to my ego if you can share this video with your friends and family. The second part of this series is waiting for you. Five reasons you need to let go of ego and how your ego can hurt you and ruin your relationships. But before watching the second video, check the red button and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell to make sure that you won't miss my next important video. And then go ahead and watch the second part of this series, the five reasons why you need to let go of your ego. Okay, see you soon. Bye.